Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 2015 Volkswagen Beetle. This is the last generation of the new Beetle and they do not make these anymore. So these are becoming uh, kind of collectible actually at the moment. Uh, this car here is a local one owner car from new. Uh, lots of dealer service uh, at Steven Volkswagen. Um, it shows about 67,000 miles. And it uh, does have, uh, shows one damage report on the Carfax in 18. I'm not sure what it was, but doesn't really show any evidence of any issues. Uh, it's in good condition overall. And uh, it's equipped with the little 1.8 liter turbo engine. Puts out about 170 horsepower. Uh, nicely rated at about 33 miles a gallon. So absolutely a perfect, fun little, uh, I say summer car, but really it's an all year round car with uh power top and a heated back window glass right not plastic so uh makes it for a very functional year-round car front wheel drive gets around good in all weather conditions uh six speed automatic transmission so i'll let you go ahead and go and do a little walk around on the car here and then we'll zoom in on any flaws and imperfections this is a nice little car it's not a show worthy car by any means it's a nice driver it does have a few little flaws on it here and there but overall it presents very well. So let's kind of zoom in here. The uh, headlights are in very good condition. Uh, no fading or issues with the lights. The front fender. Now with this car, if you look in here, you'll kind of see some little light scratches. What this car could really use is like a uh, three-stage paint correction from Van Gogh. Uh, those guys will make this thing look like brand new and glass smooth again. But you know, people are gonna get out and drive this car. And so for most people, I mean, we're not gonna, uh, you know, it's not a classic car, collector car necessarily. Um, you know, so that's something that uh, if you wanted to get done that they could definitely do for you. Uh, but, uh, but it shines up and presents uh, really well for our intents and purposes. Looking along the front bumper, yeah, it looks really nice. Don't really see much any pitting. The hood is nice, no pitting on the hood there. A little couple of water bubbles, I just washed it off here. So, emblem looks good. Again, the other headlight looks good. Bumper looks nice condition. Fender looks good, Little, few little chips and whatever. So what I'm gonna speculate here is this car probably had a minor, you know, five mile an hour little bumper, little front end collision. Uh, because if you look here, so these are things, you know, kind of educate you here on how to tell things. So we can see our fender and there's a few little rock chips up on the fender. Well, obviously the leading edges are gonna be the worst of that. Well, if you look at the bumper, there, there are no rock chips on the bumper. And then when you look at the fender, um, you know, you can see that. So the bumper's obviously been uh, repainted and I'm gonna say the same about the hood uh, because there's no rock chips on the hood. So really what you're getting is a nice fresh car. <laughs> and then this fender here is original. So that, you know, it's probably one of those where somebody stopped in front of you and probably looking on their phone or whatever and bumped the car in front. That's pretty much pretty obvious probably what happened there because you can see that both fenders are original paint and the bumper and the hood have been painted. But that's not a bad thing in this case because otherwise it would be pitted and showing the road rash of seven years of driving. So actually kind of, if believe it or not, if a small accident can actually be a bonus, <laughs> especially when it's just cosmetic. Looking at the fender here, a few little scratches, a few little blemishes, nothing major to note. Wheel covers do have some curb rash in them. Kind of a neat little cover though, kind of a retro style cover. Uh, tires are brand new. I'm trying to get up underneath here. And let me back up, I need to check my records. I use these tires all the time. These Saline El Terrazzo SVA ones are one of my favorite tires. When I saw that model, I thought that we put new tires on it, but I don't think they're brand new. So disregard that. I'll look at the records and then you can ask me on that there about the tires, but I'm going to say the tires are in good condition, but not brand new. Looking down the right side of the door, 
very good condition, no door dings. There's some light scratches on top of the fender here. You can kind of see those. And again, uh, I think, you know, 90% of that would probably go away with a, with a uh, compound and, and uh, paint correction there. Just kind of showing you how we got her here. But you can see, I mean, you see my reflection in here in the paint. I mean, the car presents very, very nice. Has a nice tinted window set up on it. We'll drop the top here uh, in a bit and when we show the interior so you can see it better. Rear wheel has some. So this is a metal cover here and then this is plastic. And so a little bit of, I don't know what that is. A little road rash, a little paint missing, something like that. Let's look at the back tires here. The tires are in good condition and it does drive out really, really nice. A little small scratch on the bumper right there. And I do feel it, so it's kind of a deep scratch, but you don't really notice it much, kind of down low. Let's go ahead and just, uh, while we're here, let's just do a quick little overview of the top. The top is in really good condition. Just a few little um, folding marks on it, but overall this top is in very good condition and serviceable. No issues at all on the top. The glass on the earlier Beetles had a major problem with the top coming unbonded from the glass and it's unrepairable. <laughs> they look like they redesigned it here. So it's a completely different design, which is a good thing because that's a nightmare with the early Beetles. You have to replace a top just because the glass becomes unbonded. Bad deal. Again, some folding wear marks, but this top is in very good serviceable condition. Looking at that there. Looks like Van Gogh is over here. Check out the color of this Corvette. I gotta comment on this thing. How's it going Van Gogh? We're here doing a uh, clear bra. Look at him, he's concentrating. Don't, don't interrupt him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, wow, what a color on this car, huh? I can't, I have to talk about this car. I can't just walk by this car and not mention it. But yeah, they're putting a clear bra wrap on it to protect that gorgeous paint. Uh, if anybody knows what that paint's called, and leave it, let me know in the comments. But that, I'm going to call it root beer with that blackout trim. Blackout works perfect on this car. I mean, I, bright work would not look good, but that is one crazy cool looking car. <laughs> all right. Looking at the rear wheel here. The covers all seem to have a consistent, it looks like, I don't know what's going on. Just the paint wears off of it or something. It's got the neat little spoiler on the back. Looks really nice. Rear bumper and lights. Again, the car is pretty consistent on its wear and tear. Uh, really good condition though. Cool, see how that opens there for the trunk lid? Just flip that open. And we've got, oh, looks like <laughs> some, for some reason we got the tools blown up here. So, well, hey, I guess uh, we can see they're all here. We got the little Volkswagen roadside assistance kit. And that, let me see here, do we actually have a spare? And we have a full-size spare. Everything is here. Not sure why I should have uh, looked at this before I opened the trunk there. Looking down the right side. Now there is a little bit of uh, damage here on this door. There's a little wavy spot. Uh, Van Gogh also does PDR and they could probably work those dents out of there. There is just a few little, you know, no damage to the paint, just a few little, it's like somebody leaned their butt up against it or something and put a little, little prime tiny dent in it there, but not a major, not a major issue. Here's in good shape. Got a nice tent on it. Uh, tent looks really cool with this car actually, doesn't it? The black car, black top, like a triple black is what they call it. But that tent looks like a neat little car. This is a fun car. Driving these around is really a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a peek underneath. is our little 1.8 liter turbo. Really clean underneath the hood. Some little marks for some kind of service there. I'm gonna put the prop rod up here. All right, we got the prop rod up and I turned the light on here so we get a little 
better view underneath the hood here. So let's kind of take a look in here. So you can kind of see down there, see there's all of our metal infrastructure of the car. You can see that that is all original. Pan back here and come across the top. And then we will go and do the same thing here. So you can see everything is clean. Everything is nice. All the metal looks to be untouched underneath the hood. So pretty much probably a bumper cover, and a bumper cover and a hood. The way these hoods wrap forward like that, they definitely uh, are very vulnerable. So let's check out the interior. All right, we got the hood closed and the top down. So let's just go ahead and take a little walk around this car before we do the interior and uh, just get a, a little uh, nice bird's eye view of it top down. Very neat looking little car. Good looking car. Interior of the car in the car is in really good condition also. Very cool. I like get these views right here, you know, kind of overhead views. I like that when I, I like taking that camera shot there. It just kind of gives you a really cool bird's eye view of the cockpit. All right, let's take a peek inside. All right, look at the door panel here. Nice and clean. Again, you know, there's this is kind of a shiny surface right here, so where you put your hands and all that stuff, a little bit dull right there. It could probably be polished out. Power windows on this, full power windows, power locks. A little tire guide. Here's our VIN number back in here. Should be able to read that. All right, let's take a look at the seat here. The seat is in really good condition. Looks like there's some kind of little cosmetic plug of something. Or no, it's a little lumbar. I didn't realize that was missing there. A little lumbar wheel for your back. Threshold is a little wear and tear, a few little nicks, but nothing bad. Again, we've got some, somebody had the arms or something here a little bit. Kind of scratching that up. Back seat. Looking at the dash here. So I will show you the floor mats are in good condition. A little bit dirty under here, but I will show you. It must have been a uh, woman-owned car. We got a, a heel uh, wear through on the carpet there. So I guess it could be a man. Could wear dress shoes. <laughs> Steering wheels. I love this black and chrome. And just I don't know. This looks really expensive. This dash array array. Very cool, I'm gonna slide in here. Go ahead and power the car up here. See, we got our push button start power. So I won't start it, I'll just power it up. Got the nice stereo. Yeah, nice stereo there. Beeping at me, cause I don't have, got the doors open, I don't have it running. I guess here, let's just do this. Go ahead, looks like, uh, Got to get an oil change done on it, so that will be done. So, wait for that to go out. Say OK. Hit the little OK right here. And we got 67,393 miles. There's our radio. AC blows ice cold. There's our transmission. We got our radio controls over here. Uh, instrument panel controls right there cruise control, light switch. You can hear the engine running right now. Car runs really nice, no issues, very quiet. There's a view across the top of the dash. Visors, good condition. We got our dual vanity mirrors. Little overhead console, and that's the switch for the uh, top operation. I think I can go ahead and just get the passenger side from in here. Right door panel looks nice. Passenger seat, 
no wear on either, either of the seats and they are heated seats, which is very nice right here. It's your controls for that. Got a double glove box set up here. Pop that, it's nice for glasses, kind of small glasses, maybe your phone, something like that. And then in here, hey, got the window sticker. Let's check this out. Let's see if I can scan over this here, kind of see what we got going here. 27,475, you can kind of see some of the options here. Total price was 28,510. Here is our fuel economy rating. So it talks about all the stuff there. I'll take a picture of that and put it in the uh, photo gallery. That way you can read it a little bit better. We won't obviously go over <laughs> all the details. There's our armrest, doesn't show anywhere. Flip it up. Nice little pocket under there. Well, that's a tour of the interior. Let's go ahead and buckle up and take this thing for a drive. All right, we're strapped in the Beetle convertible. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, it's a nice 70 degree day today. A little bit uh, overcast, uh, but it's still so nice out. I got the top down and uh, these cars are just fantastic with the top down. It, it really is, uh, it's a really quiet uh, cabin, convertible cabin with top down. So, um, 67,390 miles. These Beetles got a bit bigger um, than the first generation new Beetle, but uh, but that's where you know they really are a lot more car. They're they're really pretty impressive, and I really love the styling too. Let's go ahead and put her into sport mode. So this is the little 1.8 liter turbo. And it runs great. You got the uh, automatic transmission. Let's give her some gas, see how it runs. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very adequate power. I mean, it's no hot rod by any means, but uh, yeah, it runs really, really well. This car's got the heated seats. You got a lot of good options. Do to AM, FM, satellite radio. Don't see any navigation. But yeah, just a great running and driving little car. No suspension rattles, no clunks. Transmission's just perfect, brakes are fantastic. You know, since they stopped making these cars, uh, you know, they're, I've actually, I mean, I would say it's starting to go up in value. I mean, I used to be able to buy these you know, there were plenty of them out there and, and I could kind of cherry pick and pick and choose and find a good one here and a good one there for a, a decent price. And and uh, now they're getting tougher to find. And if I want one that I really want, I got to pay up for it because people, you know, when they quit making it, you know, people kind of are wanting to get a hold of a Beetle because they know that there aren't any more new ones. So the values of the good used ones have actually hold steady or actually I would say they have been on the uh, increase a little bit. Wow, such a great car, so comfortable. Nice sound system. You're always up for some fun. So our radio plays great. The top is full one power operation. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll drop in the little video clip right here of the top going up and down. It works really simple, just one touch, and and uh, it's a very, very good system. Oh, I really like this. It's it's so quiet and so smooth. I don't know, it really, I, I doubt you're getting any kind of background noise in the camera, other than maybe cars going by or whatever. It does a good job of even sheltering that out, because it has a, a door window and then a quarter window, so it, it uh, does give you some good sound isolation. So actually, it's starting to sprinkle on me a little bit now. 
So, sitting here at the stop sign. Engine just runs fantastic. good I I didn't turn the traction control off you know this isn't really a, I'll consider this a sports car but but it was uh, the traction control was definitely kicking in right there going from that stoplight the little turbo built a lot of torque I'm gonna do this real quick starting to sprinkle on us here so I'm just gonna pull in so this is a good uh, Kind of a, actually a good example of, you know, you're out driving your little car and you want to go top up or top down. This is a really good example of, uh, you know, I'll, I find myself in a little shower situation. So we just kind of pull over, put her in park and hit the button and it's all one touch. You see there goes the side windows. Here comes the top. And latches down. And gives you a little light in the dash says convertible top closed. Boom. That's it. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy, don't you think? So, back out on the road. That's actually perfect uh, timing, good timing, and perfect scenario for how uh, fun these cars are. And this, now that I have the top up, the one nice thing to note too is it has a glass, a heated glass back window. So this is really an all year car. We have a, a nice um, finished top here. It's not the raw top, so it actually has the top and insulation and then an interior um, uh, headliner cover. And one nice thing about these versus the previous generation Beetles is when I'm looking back, I actually have really good visibility through that quarter window. They really stretch the opening of the doors in the quarter window. The earlier windows have a really, the earlier Beetles have a really bad blind spot. But this here, looking out the rear view mirror, the side view mirror, and the quarter windows, um, I don't even realize I'm in a convertible. I mean, it's kind of like just driving a little two-door coupe. So that's uh, something that's a definite uh, improvement over the past Beetles. Tilt scoping and, and tilt wheel, which is nice there. Kind of bring it back to myself a little bit. Manually controlled. Just a great little car. There we go. Nice. So there's our little drive in our Beetle convertible. I appreciate you guys uh, riding along with us and uh, going, checking out the overview of this little car. Uh, look us up on Facebook, like, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And uh, hit that notifications button and that way, uh, whenever we post a new car, you'll get a notification uh, pop up in your feed there. And so, you know, you'll be one of the first ones to get uh, a notification that we just listed a car because you never know when we might find your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring.